about the ZAD exam. And uh, uh, those of you watching this as a video later, uh, you can skip uh, ahead to one, one and a half, two minutes maybe of the video because uh, it takes a little bit of time for people to uh, to discover the live and come come into the into the session. So I keep waiting for for people to come in and uh, uh, do this and and uh, Merry Christmas to all of you. I mean, of course, Christmas is over and uh, let's hope you have a great 2023. Uh, my best wishes for all of you that I mean, you know, when you, when you look back on your life later, uh, as you as you grow, even even at your age currently, if you're 20, 22, 25, and you're looking back at your life, there'll be there'll be some significant years which you which you say that yes, that was a good year for me. So you you need to make sure that 2023 is, is like that. So 10 years from today, 15 years from today, when you look back at 2023, uh, you should uh, you should. Uh, uh, you should you should think think positively about yourself. So today uh, we are looking at uh, uh, we are looking at uh, ZAT uh, ZAT 2023 and what should we do in uh, how should we prepare for ZAT uh, in 2023. So I, I live in Noida and uh, it's uh, pretty cold. Maybe I'll just uh, do this from from outside from my garden. So, so right so. So that 2023, what are the key inputs, key things that uh, uh, that you uh, that that you want to remember for uh, for preparing for the ZAT? And uh, uh, so there are four or five key strategy points that you need to remember, uh, that you need to uh, to make sure you remember. Uh, the first, uh, so so let me now focus on 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 the exam on ZAT and tell you those of you going for ZAT this year, of course, for them this will be valuable. For those of you going for that even next year and i think i need to uh, i need to invest in a in a selfie stick so that i can do this more easily because my hand starts paring after some time but uh, chalo let's focus uh, first thing first things first that may it's a 2.2 minute per per question exam so so that may the target is to score around 35 marks you need to you need to be able to score around 35 marks 35 35 30 30 30 say 30 plus pay Acha percentile start ho jata hai. 35 pe you start grading good great percentiles 40 plus you so, so 45 and all kind of you are you are amongst the top 100 people in the country so so that's what it is now that is a very simple strategy uh, you need to uh, you need to uh, uh, clear the cutoffs in every section right so you need to uh, clear the cutoffs in every section try to try to score a 35 plus uh, focus on 35 plus of course if your skills are not that good uh, then you then you try to get as close to 30 as possible. But if you're serious, you have to get 888 marks in three sections. Mein. Uh, there are three sections, quants and DIs together. That's also an uh, important part of the strategy. Uh, 28 questions you can expect in quants plus DI. So the second part, uh, second significant part about that, that is that there's no sectional. So the 165 minutes that you have, you, you can solve all the three sections in 165 minutes. You can give as much time. You want to give 100 minutes on English, you're going to be allowed to do that. But obviously, you don't do it, right? So, how do you divide the time is the big question. So, the simple rule for division of time is that since it's 2.2 minutes per question uh, on the paper, 75 questions, 165 minutes, you multiply the number of questions by 2.2. Okay? So, just say 26 questions are verbal, then it's 57.2 minutes. Dena usme. Uh, 28 questions uh, agar uh, quants mein hai to uh, 61.6 minutes dena 28 into into 2.2 or 21 questions dm mein hai to 46.2 minutes dena uh, 21 into into 4 into 2.2 whatever it is how much will that be yeah 46.2 minutes dena right and, and that that's the mean time that you get and then you you can uh, modulate it by plus minus 5 so, if you have a verbal scoring, then you can give 57 minutes, ke 62 minutes, de sakte ho, lekin wo 5 minutes, then you can give 5 minutes, then you can give 5 minutes, then you can give 5 minutes, then you But of course, uh, when you take out, when you reduce the time on a section, you will have to uh, increase your, uh, uh, your uh, uh, you will have to ensure that you, you clear the cutoffs uh, there. DM is a good question, administrative decision making. Aega which is more about situational handling and kabhi kabhi thoda sa uh, uh, quantitative more like di wo kabhi kabhi aata hai last 2 3 saal se kam ho gaya hoga na 
तो वो वाले क्वेश्चन बहुत लेंदी होते हैं तो अगर वैसा कुछ आएगा तो यू कैन अवॉइड इट ऑल्सो देख लेना मतलब यू यू जस्ट दिस थिंग लास्ट ईयर पास्ट ईयर दैट पेपर सॉल्व करोगे तो दिख जाएगा तुमको उस तरह के सेट भी तो uh, उस तरह दो मिनट का रीडिंग है और तीन क्वेश्चन अगर हैं तो एक एक डेढ़ डेढ़ मिनट पर क्वेश्चन सिक्स मिनट्स में लेकिन फॉर योर फॉर योर फॉर योर फॉर योर दैट इज दैट आई गेस आई गेस यू ऑल ऑफ यू नो देर इज अन एलिमेंट ऑफ डिफरेंस इन दैट दैट फॉर एवरी अन टेम्प्टेड क्वेश्चन अन अटेम्प्टेड क्वेश्चन तुमने जो भी सॉल्व किया प्लस वन माइनस पॉइंट टू फाइव एक स्कोर आ रहा होगा और तुमने दस क्वेश्चन अटैम्प्ट नहीं किए पचहत्तर में से तो माइनस पॉइंट टू मार्क्स आ जाएगा तुमको उसमें से और अगर तुमको पंद्रह क्वेश्चन बीस क्वेश्चन अटैम्प्ट नहीं किए तुमने तो बारह बारह क्वेश्चन का माइनस पॉइंट वन ईच मीन माइनस वन पॉइंट टू मार्क्स हो जाएगा फ्रॉम योर फ्रॉम द नेट स्कोर योर वर्ल्ड अनलाइक कैट जहाँ पे जो अन अटेम्प्टेड क्वेश्चन था उसके लिए देर वॉज नो पेनल्टी सो दैट ब्रिंग्स इन अ सिग्निफिकेंट चेंज इन योर स्ट्रैटी टू टेक द पेपर and the significant change is that if you are between two options whether it's verbal or dm cons mein to theek hai you will be solving the question so aisa koi guessing nahi hota hai but dm or verbal mein agar do option ke beech mein ho to usko mark kar de 